I'm Jonathan Madera, and PTV starts now. March 8th, 2019. I'm Kelsey Vance. And I'm PTV's Ozzy Arias. First off, advisory meetings. Let's get you out the door if you have one. Got one. Key Club is in the library. Palm Club, you guys are in room 209. Chinese Club is in room 201. PTV is in room 41. And Connect, you will be meeting in room 109. Now on to a quick recap of last week's trivia question. We asked you, what is the name of our Chinese teacher here at PHS? We had to admit, this question sure brought in the replies. <laughs> The answer is Mei Guan is the name of our Chinese teacher here at PHS. The winner of this week's trivia question is senior Parker Gamble, who is in Mei Guan's advisory class. Parker, thanks for watching, and you just won your class, our first ever chips and salsa party, sponsored by Hacienda. Your chips and salsa are on the way now. Enjoy. Last week, videographer Jonathan Madero was behind the camera capturing all the excitement as we tracked down our PTV Trivia Prize winner. Student Colton Masterson won the last week's trivia question, as we announced here on our show last week. We tracked him down on his way back from an advisory meeting and made the successful prize drop. We are happy to report he shared the prize, two bags of donuts with his advisory classmates in Mr. McKenzie's room. Make sure to keep to watching to ensure your chance of winning our new prize. Hacienda Chips and Salsa Party. We would like to remind those who play you are eligible to win once every month. Reward Yourself or Fail is back this week with another episode. PTV's Kaylin Curley hit the halls once again to see which lucky students or teachers were able to correctly answer her questions in this edition of Reward Yourself or Fail. Which team has the most NCAA Men's Division I basketball team championship titles? UCLA? Correct. Uh, you know, that, that's a tough question, but being here from Indiana, uh, you know that it's, it's Indiana's very own Purdue alum, John Wooden and the UCLA Bruins. So. Correct. Thank you. Kentucky. Incorrect. Uh, UCLA. Correct. UCLA. Correct. UCLA. Correct. The Lakers. Incorrect. If you would like to be on an episode of Reward Yourself or Fail, email Kaylin at kcurly91 at plymouth.k12.in.us. Everyone has been touched by cancer in one form or another, and that's why students, their families, community members, and staff gathered Monday night at Widener School of Inquiry at Plymouth High School for the seventh annual Clayford Cancer Night. Hundreds of pieces of one-of-a-kind artwork were up for bid, made by first-year students in a class called BioArt. Students have been working in small groups this year studying various types of cancers. 24 groups in all were present to share with the public information on the specific type of cancer they've been researching. More than 100 people attended the Clay for Cancer Night and do dozens made bids. All proceeds will be donated to the Cancer Association of Marshall County. This year's tally is still being determined. Last year's clay artwork sales brought in just over 1,300. Switching gears, it's time to kick it over to PTV Sports with Jake and Kendall. Good morning, PHS. I'm PTV's Raven Gritton. And I'm PTV's Kendall Himes. Thank you for joining PTV Sports. 
PHS Athletics would like to welcome new varsity assistant tennis coach Kim Riddle to the PHS family. Riddle is a fourth grade teacher at Washington Discovery Academy and has taught at the elementary school level for four years. She is also a graduate of PHS and played tennis at PHS and Indiana Wesleyan University. Spring Sports Spotlight is back in action this year with a new episode and anchor. PTV's Tyler Ritchie will be roaming the halls interviewing coaches for an insight on spring sports. This week, Tyler talks to Coach Wilson to shine the light on the girls' track season. Stay tuned for another Spring Sports Spotlight segment. What is your main goal for the girls' track team this year? Well, my main goal is for us to be working on our last year's uh, seasons of PR and personal records and then making sure that we improve those records um, this year and um, we've already seen that with our first track meet actually so I'm um, just continuing to grow and improve and get our young freshmen and kind of acclimated. How old were you when you first ran track and what was the reason? Well I mean I've been running all throughout my you know elementary years and, and then when we got into high school I was in track and field there as well and uh, uh, we did a little thing called the fun run in, in, in our elementary and that's kind of what got me started into running so I think it all came down to that. What food would you recommend eating before running? What food would I recommend eating <laughs> before running? Um, well, you definitely want to have something, you know, you want you don't want to run on an empty stomach per se, but you don't want to run right, you don't want to eat something right before you race. Um, Personally, I just, you just want to make sure that you have a good meal, um, especially if you have a track meet. Make sure you have some, a good, decent lunch and uh, nothing nothing too fatty. Um, just something with a lot of protein in it maybe or something that kind of breaks down and gives you a lot of energy. So, Nice question. What motivates you before running? What motivates me for running? I actually do love it when I have a good competition. Um, when I see other people um, prepping and, and racing at a track meet or warming up or something and I look at, I kind of gauge where they are and that gets me really excited for the event to come and so I kind of hope that my girls will also kind of um, apply that principle so that they can do really well this year. Well thank you for your time Mr. Wilson. Thank you. I'm PTV's Tyler Ritchie and I am bringing back Spring Sport Coach Spotlight. It's that time, PHS. That's right. Let's see which PHS student we put in the hot seat for this week's one-on-one -on -one segment. If you're a DJ, what would your name be? Audie B. In one word, how would your best friend describe you? Outgoing. Snapchat or Instagram? Snapchat. What is the last thing you made? Toast. Coffee or tea? Tea. Do you like to read or write more? Right. What is your favorite sport? Soccer. What is your favorite subject? English. What is one sport you would never play? Rugby. How long have you gone to Plymouth schools? My life. Do you have any pets? If so, what are they named? Uh, I have a dog and a cat. My dog's name is Scooter. My cat's name is Miss Kitty. We haven't moved yet. Do you have any siblings? Yes, I have four. What is, who is the funniest teacher in PHS? Kindle What college do you want to go to? Uh, Purdue. Well, that's a wrap for PTV Sports this week. I'm PTV's Kendall Himes. And I'm PTV's Raven Gritton. We'll see you next week. This is a reminder the junior class will be hosting their annual homemade chicken noodle carryout fundraiser on Friday, March 8th here at PHS. Dinner tickets were sold ahead of time, and those who purchase tickets can pick up their hot chicken noodle dinners today after school by using the front of the school's Horseshoe Drive on March 8th from 3.30 to 6.30 p.m. If you didn't purchase a ticket but you are wanting to buy a dinner, stop by. The junior class prom committee might be able to help you out. Dinners cost $7 and come with chicken noodles, mashed potatoes, and a fresh roll. Cash or check will be accepted. Checks need to be made out to junior class prom. Today for lunch, we are having cheese pizza, green beans, and anything you want on the fruit and veggie bar. Before we leave you guys today, it's time for a new PTV question. This week's question is, what is the number one best-selling album of all time? If you know the answer, email us at Plymouth at k12.in.us. Again, what is the number one best-selling album of all time? Have your email in by Monday so our class can win our new fries and chips and salsa party courtesy of Hacienda in Plymouth.
We hope you enjoyed this week's episode of PTV. I'm Kelsey Vance. And I'm PTV's Ozzy Arias. See you next time, PHS. Have a great weekend.